here is a simple pulley arrangement connected by belt. On both ship you can find this arrangement for air conditioning and refrigeration compressors and sometimes even some pumps and air compressors. So the object of this video is how do you tension up the new V-belt upon these pulleys. So let's start with the basic. This pulley is the drive pulley which is usually mounted on the prime mover which is usually an electric motor and sometimes even diesel engine. So the drive pulley drives the driven pulley through the belt. This can be V-type or even tubed belt. So usually it's a V-belt. And depending on the load, the number of belts will increase and the thickness and size of the belts will increase. For simplicity and ease of understanding, I have shown only a single pulley with single V-belt. Let's say um, one of the V-belts is broken on some of the blowers or air conditioning compressors. Now the question comes, how do you change it? Let's say the air conditioning compressor has three to four V-belts mounted on a single pulley. Now, if a single belt breaks, you should definitely change all the V-belts. Most of the engineers just change the broken belt and then run the compressor. But what will happen when you run in this way is the new V-belt takes up more load than any other belt or the old belts. So what you have to do is you have to remove even the old good belts and then replace with a new one. That's what the manufacturer states in its manual. So you got to check the manual. Now, after mounting a V-belt, how do you adjust the tension? Most of us just mount the belt and then tap it on top like this. And then when we feel it is tight, we just secure it and then start running the compressor motor arrangement. But is there some procedure to determine the tension exactly? Yes, there is. Here it is. What you have to do is suspend a spring balance from this point vertically down and then this spring balance has other hook which through which we will attach some weights based on the manufacturer's instruction. The idea is to apply some tensile force or tension load so that we can measure the deflection. It is very similar to the chain drive which we use on MAN BMW diesel engines. Now as you suspend the spring balance on the other hook you got to attach some known weights let's say 3 kg or 5 kg depending on the manufacturer's instruction. As you attach it, the belt will sag down. Now it deflects. So you got to measure this deflection. So how do you measure it? Just mark the original position of this belt and then as you suspend some weight on the spring balance, measure with the ruler how much the belt sags or deflects. And this deflection for the known weight of 3 to 5 kg should match the manufacturer's instruction. In my last ship, for a weight of 3 to 5 kg, the deflection is 11 to 15 mm. So once the deflection is within the range, the tension is perfect. If not, if the deflection is more, let's say 20 mm, the belt is slack, it's loose. Or if there is very less deflection, let's say 5 mm or 4 mm, then the belt is very tight. This means the belt will break easily and if the belt is loose, ultimately it will break but it, the immediate effect would be slipping or loss of power to the driven pulley. And one important thing what you have to um, do before mounting the belt is the alignment. How do you check the alignment? Uh, for ease of understanding, I'm just showing in this way. 
So what you have to do is the drive and driven pulley are exactly in line when you view through this. So it must be this way. When you see your measure with, with the ruler, it should be in line. You can't uh, tolerate or you can't live a drive pulley or driven pulley coming out and then having some deflection. It should be dead straight so that the transfer of motion is even and smooth. If not, the belt will break. Alright, so that's with the basic belt and pulley arrangement. Thank you for watching this video.